Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Neil and welcome back to another episode of Beam NG Quickies. And today we're going to be driving Shed, the Shed, the ETK 800 DIY Shed Box to be <laughs> exact. Uh, so we've been seeing some weird mods lately and most of the time it's because of this right here, the Gambler 500 modding challenge. And this is probably the weirdest one we've seen so far it's a shed on wheels an etk 800 to be exact and this car even has lore to it listen to this it says the owner didn't want to scrap his etk 800 series he had no use for it and also it was so worthless and broken down that nobody wanted because it had two-thirds of an engine so he chopped the car up put on a steel frame and some timber and by the way, put a uh, Bruckle Moonhawk engine in it because why not? So really the only ETK 800 part of this is like some of the dash, but really most of it's still covered in wood. Uh, anyway, maybe the seats are ETK. I don't really know. This is a weird freaking vehicle. All right. It looks like something we'd see in automation, but it's not. See, we can, uh, we can interact with these, uh, I guess you would call them latch doors. I, I don't really know. It's literally just a latch. You can open the back as well. There's not really much back there. You got some steps. Maybe you could put like a like a hot tub or something back here. It's <laughs> oh, this is so, so dumb. And I love it so, so much. Can you please shut the door, please? Thank you. Yeah, here's what you're going to be seeing on the inside. You can literally see where he started chopping up the ETK series. Let's go ahead and pop the hood as well so we can... Uh, see what's under very very wide vehicles. Yeah, we got a Bruckle Moonhawk engine in here. That's <laughs> You know why not it says in the description it was like the bare minimum uh, To get this thing up and running anyway, so we've seen that but let's see how it drives Shall we I don't have a lot of high hopes for this uh, To be completely honest it drives, you know about how you would expect but you know the funniest thing about this mod by far uh, is when you crash it because when we crash it you would expect wood to fly everywhere which <laughs> you know yeah that's that's the thing with wood in this game uh anything that's made out of wood it just kind of disappears uh instead of breaks you know it just kind of just disappears into the ether gone forever yeah you can get a good look at that uh metal subframe there Although I didn't see it in that particular crash. Oh, this thing is falling apart already. I'm pretty sure when you actually do crash, you can see like wood splinters uh, flying off, kind of like a visual effect. Let's see if I can see it here. There we go. You see <laughs> Just a bunch of wood flying towards the camera. Oh God, one hit and you're pretty much, uh, you're pretty much done. So what do you say we put this on the highway, get a very fast car, and drive into it at full speed because to be completely honest with you guys i don't know i don't know what to do with this thing in a video except for uh destroy it over and over again so that's my tried and true it's it, it's never steered me wrong so that's exactly uh what i'm gonna do so we're just gonna park it right there we're gonna go way down here we're not gonna worry about the traffic i'm sure they won't run into it at highway speeds right uh, then we're gonna spawn up something very very fast like a scintilla. Uh, how about the drag version? Just just because you know why not? <laughs> I can use all the speed. We're gonna evaporate this thing uh, and then we drive at we drive into it at uh, 200 miles an hour. We should probably turn off the traffic for this, but I like to take risks. There it is our big yellow shed on wheels. It looks like somebody may have cracked. No, they didn't. They stopped in time. Anyway, here we go. 216 miles an hour. It's going to take a while to uh, to pick all the splinters out of that one. <laughs> oh, it's so dumb. I love it so much. Okay, so let's go back here. Inspect the damage. Not a lot of wood left, uh, to be completely honest, but Let's see how it fares against a cannonball. Any kind of RV vehicle, I love shooting with the cannonball in this game. Uh, so where's the freaking thing? There's old faithful right there, the old cannon. You can't go wrong with this, man. All right, so here we go. Shot one. Let's actually put it in slow motion for this. I want to see, see every little splinter coming at me at 200 miles an hour. 
So there we go. There we go. It's going to go straight through it, right? And <laughs> yes, keep going. Come on, baby. Oh, it stopped it. Are you kidding me? Beautiful. <laughs> it did not uh, penetrate too much, but hey. Honestly, that's a good way to catch a cannonball. Just get the uh, the the shed box. You guys get that name, by the way, shed box. I'm not going to explain it to you, but I think you can kind of piece it together, right? Okay, yeah. So the shed box. Uh, so there's something I want to do with this thing. If you guys caught my video the other day of Spencer's new drop testing map, I say we take the shed box to the very tippy top 500 meters and drop it and see if it survives. I think we all know what's going to happen here, but uh, let's go ahead and do it anyway, shall we? Okay, this is a long way up. If, again, if you guys haven't seen this video, go check it out. It's a lot of fun. 500 meters up in the air. That's a lot of hang time. And again, if you guys don't believe me that this is in fact an ETK, I'm clicking on ETK. There we go. Shed box right there. <laughs> right there. All right. You only live once. This is a work of art, but we're going to destroy it, unfortunately. So here we go again. Long way down. Oh, my goodness gracious. We're going to fall like a freaking sack of potatoes. We're going to land face first, aren't we? It's looking that way. Uh Oh, <laughs> oh, God. Honestly, though, not as bad as I would have thought. I mean, the front <laughs> the steering wheels in the back end of this thing. Oh, the engine's dead too. Okay, well, <laughs> let me see if I can get it to like land on the roof or something. Maybe I can like spin it. There we go. Come on. Or is it just determined to fall face first? Yeah, it's determined to fall face first. Unfortunately, we're going to land in the grass this time. That's not as bad as pavement, right? <laughs> it's still pretty bad. <laughs> Hey, you know, at least the, the the frame part holds up. I know most sheds are made of all wood, right? That would just absolutely explode into a million pieces, but it kind of holds its shape. The car part's gone, but the shed, I mean, you could probably fix this, right? Anywho, uh, I think we got one thing left to do. Let's see how far the shed box can fly on the car jump arena. It doesn't exactly strike me as a super aerodynamic vehicle, but you know, I've been surprised before. So uh, let's go check it out. All right, the time has come. Shed box, let's see what you got, buddy. It feels, it feels like it's, oh, it's already falling apart. Are you kidding me? It can't even go over one, okay, whatever. It doesn't matter. <laughs> this, can I put my gaming setup in the back? This is a, the van life that I want. Again, I don't think this is going to be aerodynamic at all. Yeah, we're, we're not going very fast either. 123 miles an hour. Beautiful. Beautiful. Actually, surprisingly graceful landing. Will it float though? I mean, it's made mostly of wood, so I would think so, right? Let's go ahead and send it in there real quick. Yes, yes. Float. It does not float. Dang it, it must be the, the metal uh, underneath, the metal cage. That makes sense, I guess. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed the DIY shed box. <laughs> Again, we're gonna be seeing a lot of weird stuff for quite a while. You know what? I could not be happier. I love weird stuff. Anyway, guys, if you do want to download the shed box, I'll have a link down below uh, to the BMG repository where it is completely free. Of course, it's a lot of fun, man. I'm excited to see what else comes out of this contest, man. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure that like button down below and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.